Good morning. I'm now uh, just outside the little village of Chauchil, five minutes uh, bus ride uh, down from uh, Gjørheimet. Today I want to walk up the Paspagi Valley, which is probably more like a stroll. It's not a very long hike, I think. And have a look at the uh, Selvi Arthur's Museum. And uh, just behind me here we have the first pinnacles of that hike. And I find uh, this place where I stay now uh, to be a good place to give an intro about how the landscapes here in Cappadocia actually came to be. It uh, really started uh, like three million years ago when a lot of volcanoes were formed here because there was a fault line between uh, continental plates. Those uh, volcanoes covered the area in ash and uh, lava. That uh, ash eventually compressed into the tough stone you see all over the place, which is, uh, as I showed in uh, previous videos, is very, very brittle, very, very soft. It's uh, hardly rock at all. Then uh, the forces of erosion uh, started to work. Wind, rain, changing of temperatures, which may, would make uh, the materials expand and contract and therefore uh, crack up. And uh, the soft materials uh, is uh, constantly being washed away with the more uh, resistant uh, parts of the material uh, standing, at least standing left for a while. As we have seen uh, in other videos, it's uh, constantly ongoing this process. So everything changes constantly. And here on this pinnacle, it's pretty evident what is happening. The soft material below is uh, being washed away and the hard material on, on top is uh, left, at least left for now. It's going to uh, wither away that too. And in the neighboring uh, little cliff, you can see how uh, new pinnacles are actually in the process of being formed. In some time, uh, you will have at least four pinnacles here. And uh, those uh, pinnacles are already standing, will uh, disappear com completely. So it's like a family tree. Family members are born and family members die. This is the Paspagi Valley for you. Wine yards and pinnacles. It's like an amphitheater. Just on the other side of uh, this uh, rock is actually Chauvisil. I don't think it's possible to show it clearer and then this place what is actually happening when a pinnacle is formed. I want to go into this crack and have a closer look. See here how erosion is going on.
This really is Avenida de los Pinaculos. I think if you are with children, if you're disabled, if you're old, this is a very good place to get its easy access to pinnacles. I mean, not overlooking pinnacles, but to be among them. It's a fenced off area. I think it's a ticket here. But you have some gorgeous uh, pinnacles in there. Hi, Ma. Thank you. See the remains of a church or a chapel. The whole pinnacle has been hollowed out and it's starting to roll away. In the neighboring pillar as well, it's a uh, maybe not a church itself, but uh, must be a monastic structure. Some uh, skyline and a few examples of the multi headed uh, pinnacles. She's a speciality for uh, this uh, sculpture park here. So I think uh, 25 Turkish lira is uh, worth spending here. When I planned my trip to Cappadocia, I was reading every valley, pinnacles, pinnacles, pinnacles. Sort of getting tired of reading about pinnacles. But uh, the strange thing is they are different in every valley. The shape, the colors, you can see the context uh, they are in the landscape. It's really different. I picked up a funny expression in Sri Lanka describing it. They often use the phrase same, same, but different. And it really fits Cappadocia. The valleys are the same in that respect. It's pinnacles every, everywhere, but the pinnacles and the pinnacle landscapes varies 
so much. Walking quickly through uh, Chabuchin village. I've been walking then almost four kilometers from Selva Otaurus Museum. And when I came around the corner behind here, I saw the western sky. And it looked like it's going to be a sunset night. Sunset worth uh, catching. So I got the idea I will go full steam up to the vantage point on the top of the Red Valley and enjoy the sunset from there. Almost five kilometers but maps me the map stop me up say I can do it in time. So I will try and get some extra steam on the boilers. Have good luck with the sunset tonight. It's supposed to be one of the best sunset spots in Cappadocia, beside the Dushisa Castle. So I have high hopes for tonight. And there is also a possibility for a good chai up there. Good hot chai. How to get from uh, the viewpoint up there and back to Göreme? I don't know. Maybe I'll find a taxi there. Worst case, I will actually have to walk. But I can do it. And tonight, I will have pottery kebab in my uh, 
own restaurant in Gerema. Two friendly local ladies who tried to push pottery kebab on me for, for several days. Okay, I must run now.